Yeah, hello. We are at Walmart uh, looking for the AEW action figures. They're supposed to be Walmart exclusive. Yeah, and if you have seen uh, Being the Elite, uh, the Young Bucks' YouTube channel, they have gone to Walmart uh, four times, they said, on Being the Elite, trying to find uh, their action figures. And, of themselves. And they have not been successful. And I'm going to see... because Matt Cardona bought them all. Yeah. And I'm going to see if we can be successful. And we'll find out. No Young Bucks. No other AEW ones. But I did find the title belt. And that might come home with me. Hello. So I am on my own now. Uh, I'm heading up to meet a friend of mine to get part of a gift for another friend of mine uh, and I unfortunately can't tell you or show you what it is uh, because the person that I'm giving this gift to is one of my subscribers so if she sees it then you know the whole surprise thing is ruined uh, but it should be really cool and I eventually will show you guys um, but, uh, I figured I would bring you along, not on the drive, because I'm alone and I don't want to hold my camera and try to drive a manual transmission, but, <laughs> um, I will, uh, bring this back, I will bring you guys back when, uh, I get to my friend's house, um, you know, and then I'll just bring you along. First, I gotta get gas. So for you guys, it's going to be like a second. For me, it's going to be like 30, 40 minutes, but it's all good. Alrighty, so I just got to my friend Melissa's house. Uh, if you've watched The Adventures of Batman Rog, you have seen her artwork in the beginning and end of the videos, and she played Iceling, uh, a pretty fun character, one of my favorites. Um, but I came to her place to pick up uh, the first part of the gift uh, that I'm giving to a friend, unfortunately, I can't show you, like I said, and I will be later. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, well. I'll be making the other half of the gift uh, later. Ooh, look, car. Uh, but anyways, yeah, she agreed to be on the video, so I was like, cool. But anyways, I will catch up with you guys later. All right, so as you can see, I'm home now. Uh, I got home about an hour ago, <clears throat> and I was trying to find something on uh, my dash cam. Um, so as I was on the freeway heading uh, to the next city over, uh, <clears throat> sorry, as I was heading over to the next city, uh, these about a car ahead of me, there were two semi trucks. I was in the middle lane and so there was a semi in the middle and a semi in the right hand lane and uh, for whatever reason they start getting real 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 close until their trailers actually started touching each other um, and then they split apart and thankfully no crash and, and everybody's fine. Uh, those two probably weren't happy uh, but you know as far as bodily injury or crashes nothing like that happened so that that's good um, And basically what I was doing is that since I have a dash cam I was trying to find that one to show uh, daddy-o so that you know you can see what happened uh, And then two I was gonna you know like put it in in the vlog, but unfortunately uh, It seems I wasn't able to capture that unfortunately um, but I described it so you guys get the idea So next what I'm going to do is Once I picked up the gift part of the gift from Melissa. I need a place to hold it uh, until I Can gift it obviously so like wrapping or something. So I'm actually just gonna make a thing for it um, I Like a little holder. I was trying to find a folder, but I couldn't find one big enough so I'm just going to make my own. And so I stopped at a craft store that's usually closed on Sundays uh, on my before I headed home. And now that I got home and I was unsuccessful in finding that uh, 
that footage from my dash cam, I was just going to go ahead and start making that. And uh, Daddy and I have a thing uh, that we'll be doing later, so we'll catch back up with you guys then. All right, hello, we're out here, and uh, I think I'm going to call it the Axiom, because it's, uh, it's a pop culture thing. Um, so first of all, I want to start off by saying we're not being paid, we're not sponsored, we're not endorsed, nobody asked us to do this. By Stone Cold. Yeah, nobody asked us to do this, no companies, no nothing. Uh, this is just us as wrestling fans being very curious. But then again, if Steve Austin sees this, he's going to go, free advertising, oh hell yeah. yeah. But anyways, the point is, uh, we are trying... Uh, Steve Austin's Broken Skull IPA. Now, there it is. Um, so I just want to read a little bit about it, and then we're going to try it. Okay. So Broken Skull India Pale Ale, a badass, I kind of got to say it like the rattlesnake, 6.7% IPA designed by Steve Austin and El Seg Segundo. Segundo Brewing Company for the, wor Segundo. Yeah, for the working man and woman. It features Citra, Cascada, and Chinook. I probably said all of that wrong. Chinook. Chinook hops to deliver big flavor with an easy finish. Now stop reading and start enjoying this awesome beer. Cheers. Well, I oh, plan to. Yeah. So, do you think Steve Austin is a dark beer or light beer man? Uh, you know, he talked about it on his, uh, his, show? his show. Yeah. This makes me think it's going to be a uh, light beer. Let me see. Also... Smells like it's got orange peel in it or something. Yeah, that's kind of citrusy. Um, as specific a specific citrus, like it's oh, it's a light beer. That's no, what I, I mean, thought. Yeah, but I mean, it specifically yeah, smells like orange. orange. So well, I poured way too much for myself. Yeah, let me do that. Yeah. Um, fun fact: I have consume. I do consume liquor not on a regular basis, but every once in a while. Uh, but. Uh, I don't actually enjoy beer, but maybe... That's why I was going to say the same thing. You know, I, I started drinking beer when I was 14. Mm -hmm. And by the time I got to be 18, which is the legal age, I didn't like it anymore. And around that time, it was 1984, and a company from down the road here in a town called Oakdale mm -hmm. came out with... they Because people had done this at parties or whatever... Mm -hmm. Um, they made their own recipe is they put in uh, white wine like Zinfandel mm -hmm. mix it with fruit juice and now, isn't uh, that jungle juice eh, sort of I mean that's where the beginnings come from mm -hmm. uh, but they called it California cooler mm -hmm. and it was a big thing it was the original wine cooler mm -hmm. it was made by a company called Bartles and James in Oakdale interesting and then around the same wait no Bartles and James was their own and and California Cooler was a different one. They were the two big, two biggest ones that came out on the market in 1984. Now, you're talking about wine and juice, right? Mm hmm Bartles and James sold their stuff in a, in a four-pack, and it mm -hmm. kind of, it kind of looked, they had gold foil, it kind of looked like Michelob beers. Mm -hmm. I mean, it looked like beer. Right. So they were trying to convince you that it was an adult drink, and you, the fruity part was just, so girls could drink it too, I think. And then, um, California Cooler, on the other hand, sold in a two-liter bottle, huh. like, a, like a soda. <laughs> Interesting. And I used to drink a two-liter by myself. Oh, jeez. To, to my head. Uh, I went out one night, and I can barely remember, we <laughs> bought, me and this guy, and we were going to go out with a couple of dates. We bought six. Oh, my gosh. I drank three. He drank two, and the girl split one. Damn. <laughs> Uh, I don't drink that much. Um, beer, I don't. Uh, beer, I don't really care for. But if it's good enough for the rattlesnake, it's good enough for me. Wait, wait, dude, that is that is very, very citrusy. It's not bad. No. I imagine if you were a regular beer drinker. Yeah, like if you're like. I mean, this is... Well, then is... again, if I wasn't full on dinner... <laughs> right. And, and and some water that I had earlier, this this probably wouldn't be too... This isn't actually that bad. No, I, it's... I don't like the... Um, the hops, maybe? No, I, I, I don't know what the ingredient is. I don't like the aftertaste. It's almost like like wood. Yeah, kind of. Uh, hmm. It smells... 
fantastic, though. Yeah. On a second splash, it's, it's pretty good. I imagine if I was like a regular beer drinker. Yeah, that's just, that's just not for me. Yeah. I, like, you know, it's not bad. I had to know what Stone Cold preferred, because I believe this was like his craft, like, this is what he wanted. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that was his recipe. He helped. He worked with those guys. It, it was on his. Uh, what was his show called? The well, it was it was Broken Skull Ranch. Or no, no that no. was the game show he had. Yeah, no, I'm talking about. Remember his reality show? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Steve Austin something. Yeah, because he had like he had Rob Riggle on there. Yeah, he had a bunch of guests, and I believe that one of the episodes he mentioned or he went through the whole process of how he got together with these guys and said, "Well, this is what I want." So they showed him the different kinds of the hops and what it was this all, of that, this, all this the citrus. ingredients and let him like okay and then when they made it if he liked it or he didn't like it mm -hmm. until they got the right recipe. El Segundo is actually in Southern California. Mm. Well, that's because you know he he's from Los Angeles. No, he's from Texas. Well, true, but he lives in he Los lives Angeles. Lives in LA. Right. Yeah, uh, but he, oh. yeah. So El Segundo is in SoCal. It's actually a poorer town, mm -hmm. and uh, it's. I think it's close. It's pretty close to the border, I believe. I could be wrong. I was just down there, but I didn't. I don't remember seeing any signs for El Segundo. So, mm -hmm. and I was about a hundred miles from the border. Mm -hmm. So it might have been farther south, possibly. And so, okay, let's go. Let's do the thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, maybe. Yeah. You got another way you wanna. No, I mean, I, I thumbs up and thumbs down seems a little harsh as we're both not beer drinkers. So I was going to say on a 1 to 10, 10 being, you know. Greatest beer you've ever had. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. Let's see, okay, I don't want to seem like I'm kind of a snob, but I'm not really into the pale ales either. Right. And I'm more of just regular beer if I do drink. But what are you doing? What did you find? It sounds Is like kibble. Um, I like. MGD is, is like my favorite bottle beer. If I get it ice cold in a bottle, but if mm -hmm. once it gets to room temperature, bleh. actually most beer is bleh if it gets to room temperature. So I was going to say on a, okay, so you're going to go one to 10 scale. Yeah. Because if we both give it two thumbs down, that's, you know, kind of messed up. We can give our, each give our rating and then okay. it would have right. an average score. Ah. We won't be able to average it out because I'll tell you why, but go ahead. Yeah, I. I'm not, I still don't care for beer. Right. Uh, this doesn't really change my mind yeah. on it. Yeah, it that's what I was thinking. great, though. That's what I was thinking. Well, maybe it's so good that I'll, like, start drinking beer again, but no. I don't know. I... Well, the safe number would be five, then, if you don't. Yeah, I'm thinking probably four. Um... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to have to give it four just because I don't drink beer regularly. See, and then I wanted a thumbs up or thumbs down, and I was actually going to go in the middle. In the middle? <laughs> in the middle, which would be about five. Yeah. Uh, because, like I said, you know, I'm not a beer drinker. It smells great. Mm -hmm. It kind of, like, wakes you up when you, it's like Life Boy Soap. But mm -hmm. you don't want to drink Life Boy Soap. But, uh, it, you know, it's got a really nice, uh, they call it a bouquet if it's in a wine. Beer, I guess it's just it's a good smell mm -hmm. but the taste it's it's all right going down but you get a weird bitterness aftertaste like mm -hmm. it kind of tastes like nut like wood chips or paper or something mm -hmm. you know what I mean so uh, and then and like I said since I'm not a beer drinker nor am I a beer snob I'll drink I've drank Coors Light I've drank Miller mm -hmm. I've drank Bud and Bud Light so I uh, on a one to ten, five or four, just because of what it's supposed to be for mm -hmm. people that drink this kind of right. thing. Right, I can't. It's like I'm. I was like trying to give it a score to not disrespect Stone Cold. You know, oh, hell yeah. the the whole reason for for getting this is just because we're wrestling fans and we've grown up well, watching uh, Steve Austin, and it's like I'm curious. But the thing is, too, is um, what I. It's very thin. Yeah, it's not thick. Beer is not necessarily that it's thick, but it's got a fullness to it. Mm -hmm. You know, like you're drinking. This is just like, I don't know. 
I don't know. I, I don't know what, you know, we don't have any experience with pale ales. Mm -hmm. We don't have any, you know, we don't have a lot of experience. What beer have you drank? Mickey's. Really? The Irish stuff? Um, I, my brother gave it to me. Uh, and anything else? No. You, you didn't have it a Bud Light or anything? Mm -hmm. Coors Light? Did no. your mom drink Coors Light? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're just kind of like, it didn't change our mind about beer. Yeah. And, and we, we're not going to level up from regular beer to craft beer, which yeah. is what an IPA is. So, uh, But again, no disrespect to Steve Austin. I think it's a good beer for what you've made and for what for what it's supposed to be. Yeah. And for the people that drink that kind of stuff, yeah. I imagine it's really good. I, yeah, it's just, I, I imagine it's great for them. Stick with Miller. Or yeah. Light. So uh, you said five or four. Where do you want uh, to solidify? Okay, you're at four. I'm going to say five. Five, so it's nine. Well, that's not the average. No, but that's the total. Right. So, and then nine divided in half. Four and a half. Yeah. So, like a, almost a five average because you round well, up. No, four and a half is four and a half. You round up if you go to six, or you round down if it's four. 4.4, you would round down. Yeah. 4.6, you would round up. No, it's 4.5. 4. 4. 4. 5 is 4.5. <laughs> okay. it's, it's a half. Just like a three and a half star rating. Yeah. See, so okay, see, stars, I would give it uh, three stars. Three stars out, out of five. five. Yeah. Which is a little higher on a one to ten scale, but, or maybe 2.5. I don't know. But anyway, that's our impression of. Yeah. Uh, Curious, Stone Cold's Broken Skull IPA. Yeah, yeah. and so then if you if you're into craft beer, that's the thing. If you're into the craft beers, if you're into the pale ales, then this is for you. Go get it. Mm -hmm. It's it's not bad. And then just again, just as a reminder, we were not paid. We were not approached. Nobody. We don't know Stone Cold. Yeah, I wish. I wish that would be awesome. Was, but uh, yeah, be his neighbor. Yeah, but um, so nobody nobody paid us to talk about this. Nobody incentivized us. There was no approach, no back you dealings. You went to the store and bought it. I went, we saw it at our local grocery store. Yeah, and I went and bought it, and I was like, I gotta, I gotta know. So, anyways, I think. And we can't get a bit of the bubbly because it's sold out. Yeah. We get it for a hundred bucks on the internet. Yeah. We don't, we don't have any interest in the hundred dollars for champagne. Right. No. But we might be able to. Well, no, we'd have to get like regular champagne and make us a mimosa mayhem. <laughs> that was. And see what happens. Right. Uh, well, anyways, thank you for joining us and me today uh, on my because I I was vlogging by myself. Oh, us and me. Us and me. Yeah, I don't know. Me myself and I and you. Anyways, thank you for joining us uh, on this day, and uh, we look forward to howling with you again uh, next time. And don't forget, uh, episode eighteen is in the works. We we should have it up very very soon. That's true. Daddy, a wolf. Top. We're out of here.